Um, hi there. Um, uh, I just wanted to do a very quick video. Uh, it's going to be a very short video um, on Spike Lee's 1992 uh, movie, Malcolm X. And something I've always noticed, uh, well, or haven't always noticed, but more recently came to notice um, in the assassination scenes, that the scenes showing Malcolm's um, assassination. And there appears to be, in addition to the five <coughs> um, uh, assassins from Newark, New Jersey, there appears to be a character playing the role of Linwood X. Um, if you if you look at the scene, uh, which I'll show you shortly, um, there's a guy wearing a blue suit who is sort of seated um, uh, next to the assassins uh, on the front row, and he's got a very sort of impassive expression on his face. And then when the Bradley figure comes up and shoots Malcolm, uh, this guy uh, in the blue suit, who I'm guessing is, is Linwood, um, sort of gets up coolly and leaves uh, the auditorium. <laughs> Those of you who have sort of uh, uh, sort of looked into the the research that went into Spike Lee's movie uh, will know that the um, I guess the Malcolm X scholar or historian uh, I guess he calls himself um, Paul Lee uh, was a researcher on uh, Spike Lee's uh, Malcolm X and I I'm guessing it's uh, he's the person responsible for persuading um, Spike Lee to include uh, this character, this um, Linwood X type person, because it was actually um, from Paul Lee um, back in, I think, 2004, 2005, uh, that I first came across uh, the role uh, played, um, th that is, first came, uh, first was able to put a name uh, to a person uh, who had been referred to in Peter Goldman's uh, Death and Life of Malcolm X as a as a sixth um, uh, participant in the assassination. So if we take a look at this um, footage, um, you can see that there is this guy wearing a blue suit who I'm guessing uh, is um, Linwood X, even though he doesn't have like a an active or... Uh, he doesn't appear to have a name credit in the um, credits uh, for the movie, nor uh, does he d is he seen entering the Audubon Ballroom with the assassins. He's just sort of sat on the front row wearing this blue suit, uh, light-complexioned individual, um, and I'm guessing this is a person who spy, um, Paul Lee... Uh, must have persuaded Spike Lee, uh, for the sake of authenticity, uh, to include um, in that scene. Uh, I think it's noteworthy because of all the attention that we've um, paid to the role played by Linwood X. Cathcart, or Abdul Karim Muhammad, as he calls himself. The fact that there is, uh, that Linwood X does put in an appearance in Spike Lee's Malcolm X uh, is, is kind of noteworthy uh, in the light of as I said, all of the attention that uh, has been focused increasingly, but mostly by me, uh, on the role played by the Nodex. So, so anyway, I just thought I'd do this little video um, on something that I, I think I'm right about it. I think it is uh, it is Paul Lee's uh, contribution to Spike Lee's um, portrayal of the assassination scene that you have an individual who appears to be uh, Linwood X, not the real Linwood X, but a person playing uh, the role played by Linwood X, um, seated on the front row.